This is just a quick video about migrating React Query to version 3. So last time we created this browser of Dev2 articles written in React.js using Next.js and we communicated with the Dev2 API using React Query. And the version we used was 2.26. In the meantime, the author of this library released a new version, version 3, which has some breaking changes. So if you are following this tutorial, this previous tutorial, you will have some issues to make it work because the API changed. So in this video, I want to show you how to fix that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to update our library. So if we go to package JSON, we should see that we, have, we are still at 2.26. But if I run pnpm app or upgrade, it should update this dependency. So it says that it updated it one, one minor version, but it says the, the major upgrade is available. So if we want to force that, we can use this tool called npm check updates. So it's a library that you can install globally on your system and it will show you available versions from minor to the major version. So I already have it installed and you can either use the full name or an alias ncu. So if I write ncu I see that React Query can be updated to version 3 but it, this doesn't update the package JSON. If I want to force that I can use dash u upgrade and it shows the same message but if I go to the react query it's now updated in our package json so now I can just do pnpm install it says that it properly updated the library so once we have that let's go back to our application and we need to change some naming so first of all the query cache is now a low level uh, entity and instead of using it directly we should be using query client and then for the provider it's called now just query client provider we need to update that here and here and here. So let's change this name as well to query client so it reflects better what we are doing here and this has to be major case and in fact this is called now just client like that and once we have that let's start the application it will take a while to compile it's mostly because of tailwind and now we have this error no query client set use client provider so it seems that in this new version we have to move the query client provider one level up from the place where we are using use query i'm not entirely sure why it happens but that's what i figured to solve that problem so if we go to app.js we can just move this code this uh, provider wrapping on top of the component which is the uh, next.js mechanism and then we also have to move this query client the initialization over here and of course we need to import that and we here we don't need use query so that should be good and we no longer need that over here and it works so now the last thing is to migrate the DevTools. So DevTools is at the version 2.6. At the time of recording, there is no release of the DevTools compatible with the React Query version 3. So we need to go to the releases on React Query DevTools. And we will see that we have the pre-release beta. So to make it work, we need to specify that explicitly by writing beta 1 and just installing those dependencies and let's start the server and it works
So we have the queries, we can uh, refetch as before. Everything seems to work as before. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We are using React Query on a very, in a very basic way in this application, but there is much more and this library is very comprehensive. It's not only about fetching data, but also about mutating data. Maybe in the future I will cover that. But if you're interested in all the changes, you can go to uh, the documentation and there is a section migrating to React Query 3 where all new features are described along with the, the things needed to change the existing React Query 2 version 2 uh, applications. So what we discussed in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.